All right, welcome back everybody. We are all business from home here, tracking a new storm that will move in for the end of March and the beginning of April. Take a live look up at East Glacier, what it looks like right now, as uh, there's a pretty good squall coming down off of the mountains over through the East Glacier area. So uh, this line will continue to work its way through the state through the rest of this evening into tomorrow morning. Right now, looks pretty nice in Great Falls where we have a uh, fairly mild temperature still. It was up into the 50s. We're down to about 49 degrees right now. A much darker sky in Helena where we've had rain showers and some mountain snow showers around town. 50 uh, degrees west wind down to 7 miles per hour. Cooler air off towards the west. Missoula 40 where that squall line's going through. Kalispell we had some uh, thunder storms just to the south of there around Polson. We're at 42. There's that line that's just beginning to spill over the Rocky Mountain front around East Glacier, but that is a powerful line and we have had some lightning strikes even earlier in this afternoon, a severe thunderstorm warning up around Spokane with this line. You can see some of that mix of rain and snow around Browning pushing towards Cup Bank, some rain showers and maybe a couple of heavier showers out there near Fort Belknap. That area of disturbed weather will continue to work east through the overnight hours. Looking across the country at our family and friends all over the place. We've got some mixed rain and snow showers into the northeast, some severe weather, a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings down into parts of Kansas, the Oklahoma Panhandle and northern Texas. But it's the northern Rockies uh, that where we will be the, the center, the focus of some pretty tough weather here over the next uh, couple of days. So that squall line, look where it is by about 11 o'clock. It may start out with a little mix of rain and snow around Helena, but likely going over to some heavy, wet, windswept snow by about 10, 11 o'clock. Great Falls, maybe just a brief burst of mixed rain and snow, and then we're partly uh, cloudy by the time we get into about 2 in the morning. But look at that snow hanging around Helena, just west of Helena, south of Helena as well. Tomorrow may start out quiet, even with a little sunshine, but clouds will increase and look at the snow moving back in at times through the afternoon and the evening around Helena out through the central part of the state. There could be some thunderstorms around Billings as well, but it's Tuesday night into Wednesday that a Canadian cold front will go through and that will bring a drop in temperatures and widespread light snow here uh, for a lot of Montana especially right along the Continental Divide by the by the time we get into Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening. How much snow with that burst that comes through tonight? Look at that to Western Lewis and Clark County closer to the Continental Divide. There could be as much as three, four inches of snow here. So keep that in mind if you're heading up over the mountain passes. A little additional snow in the mountains through Tuesday, but watch what happens Tuesday night into Wednesday out the high line, some accumulation then into eastern Montana. There could be uh, several inches of accumulation by Tuesday night into Wednesday. So for tonight, Browning, Cup Bank, Shoto, Augusta, watch out for a burst or a squall coming through. Just some rain showers up around Haver, Northeast Montana, also some rain showers. Mix of rain and snow laid around Lewistown, over through the White Sulphur Springs area, and again near Elliston, Great Divide, Lincoln, Rogers Pass, and Helena. A burst of some heavy rain and snow will be coming through later this evening. Here's the forecast for tomorrow. Mixed rain and snow in the lower elevations. Some some snow that will accumulate in the higher terrain. Not too cold just yet, but look at Wednesday's forecast with the Canadian front going through. Highs only in the teens in Lewistown for the 1st of April. This is not an April Fool's joke. High of only 20 in Great Falls. Still a chilly day on Thursday with mainly mountain snow showers. And then heading into Friday, another little system will be coming in from the west. Here's the seven day forecast for Helena. So watch out again tonight around 9, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, a burst of snow likely coming through. Little light snow at times tomorrow, little light snow on Wednesday, snow showers Thursday and Friday, and it will warm up back to around 50 degrees this weekend. And for Great Falls, again, a burst of precipitation likely coming through as we go through the overnight hours into tomorrow. And uh, then we'll be looking at much colder air with some snow coming through on Wednesday into Thursday. And again, guys, I told you, there's a no pants rule here at home, and I'm going with shorts here. I'm going with shorts here at home. Business up top, party down below. <laughs> The news mullet right there. <laughs> Coming up, what financial experts say we can all do 